Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cinemajesty, you can call me Ryan, here from Cinematic Cheese, and I'm going to show you actually how to get the Super Simulant in Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, go watch it and go do everything if you haven't done it yet. And this part's going to actually show you how to get the Super Simulant, and it's, um, stupidly easy. So you're going to go to Banshee, and he's going to tell you, hey, go do the strike. It's a 280 strike, and you are going to get a full fire team, no matter what. So, hey, kudos, but if, uh, I'd recommend going with friends. It makes it a little easier because you can communicate. <clears throat> it always helps to have a hunter that does Void Walker because he can tether, and every hit you do will be a crit. Also, my little sword strategy does work here, but not right here, mainly because of the ads. If the ads had not been there, I could have swung at him until he probably hit 75% of his health, and he changes his strategy up. He changes it up at 75%, 50%, and 25%. Here is, I think, it's either 75 or 50. Because every time, all the platforms change around and your cover moves, so you kind of have to move around with your cover. And it also helps to just keep someone focused on ads almost the whole time. Um, your priority should be ads and then boss. Because ads will sneak up on you, blow you up, shoot you, kill you, <clears throat> and you have to start the boss fight all over again. Now, thankfully, we got this on our first try, so I don't really think this is too hard. As long as you kind of stay away from the boss and stay, uh, stay near your teams, your team, because uh, they will go down and they will need reviving. <clears throat> for me, I have the Chris of up a loopy chest just for this purpose. But uh, don't stay in one place too long because when you get to 25%, he will follow you and make sure you take out the sniper shanks. And do not, do not stay still. I cannot, you know, stay say that enough. But if uh, you just keep doing damage to him, keep tethering him. You will, uh, you will kill him. He will die a very painful death. <clears throat> he will drop things, and if you forgot to use a three of coin like I did, you might not get an exotic, and you might feel a little bad about it. But hey, you got something called the uh, Sleeper Simulant Frame. So kudos to you. And then all you gotta do is just take it back to Banshee. Again, I really thought this was gonna be way more complicated. Step one was, was crazy, a little crazy. And I really thought it was gonna be like, assemble the gun, the full gun. But no, just two parts, and you get your sleeper simulant, your heavy fusion rifle. That's kind of, uh, everyone's been trying to figure out how to get, and Bungie just kind of trolled us, don't you think? I mean, it was literally like, hey, here it is, there's no secret, just do the missions. But I gotta say, I kind of like the sleeper simulant, you don't get much ammo for it, but it feels like a precision rocket launcher. I mean, this thing wrecks so far from what I've seen, from what I've done, have fun with it, from what I've seen. It, uh, it kind of wrecks. Uh, what more can I say? If you liked the video, click like. If uh, you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Found it helpful in any way, shape, or form. I mean, uh, maybe you struggle with the boss fight. Uh, if you could share it around and make uh, make my day. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, take care.